Should you buy the Adidas Own the Game 2.0? Look, first off, that is way too long of a model name. There's like no spaces in it, but I mean, at only $70, it doesn't get much cheaper than that. Let's do it. You thinking the next hit? Holding on to treasures, lusting after pleasures. I become addicted to this feeling under pressure. I get plenty of loot these days, I swear I never let up. It's embedded in my genetics. Like nice clothes, it's seen where the night goes. Leave me when the light's slow. I just get like light bulbs. Attempted to right wrongs, I carry a light load. I travel the right roads, I see how the dice roll. I talk that you need to hear. Tell it how I'm dealing with it. They've been on a silly Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down all of the different performance aspects for this model, but before we get into that, I'll go ahead and knock out some of the basic stuff first. So like I just said in the intro, this is the Adidas Own the Game 2.0 model. Own the game, all one word, no spaces. I just don't love how that looks, uh, how that feels to look at, or how it feels to say, but you know, that's the last time I'll bring up the model name. But this is going to be a really low retail price, crazy low, as low as $70 right now. And I think that has to be the cheapest Adidas shoe that I've played in. And this is the second model to come out of what seems to be a new line for Adidas. And I actually didn't have the chance to play in the ones, but if you did get to play in the Own the Game ones last year, I mean, I looked at some picks and those look nearly the same as this year's model. And to be honest, that's not gonna be anything too special. Like they just aren't like a ton of details on the shoe. You are gonna have that three stripe logo from the side of the upper. Then you're also gonna have some ridges or like some lines kind of built built in or like worked into the midsole. From the front, you're gonna have like essentially just that Adidas logo on the tongue. And they stay consistent and went with just a simple heel setup too. But the pull tab is kind of weird how it like runs up the entire back of the shoe. Honestly, these remind me a little bit of like an Adidas Mad Bounce shoe. You could even like probably swing these as a casual shoe too. And at only $70 though, I mean, it's kind of clear that like the appearance probably wasn't the focal point of this model so now let's see how they hold up on the court so now looking at more of the tech specs and the performance side, we'll go ahead and take a look at the cushioning first. So you actually can see it marked out on the midsole for this model. The Adidas Own the Game 2.0 features some light motion cushioning, which is a relatively firm EVA blend foam that's just meant to deliver, deliver like functional everyday cushioning. And that's just how like Adidas lays it out there for you. So to me, it's like always kind of interesting when it comes down to cushioning alone. I guess like any category, whenever you look at it alone, like a $200 shoe can play like a $50 shoe and vice versa. But like, I kind of I, I kind of hate to say it, the cushioning kind of matches the price on these. Like I haven't played in an Adidas shoe that has this type of setup yet. Normally like Adidas shoes use like a combination of bounce, boost, you know, light strike, different stuff like that. So I didn't really know what to expect. I just haven't really been all that impressed with the cushioning like that's underneath your foot. The sock binder is actually pretty plush, but you know, these would definitely require some break in time, in my opinion, or at least some time for your foot to kind of like, you know, respond to the cushioning. But you can always, but you can kind of just tell, like, they didn't just bolster up the cushioning on this model all that much. But the midsole is actually giving us a durometer reading at 33.5. And that's like, you know, pretty soft, softer than the average shoe. But the cushioning is likely going to be, you know, slightly worse than the average shoe. But maybe you'll feel something a little bit different. But with the cheaper side of shoes, I mean, sometimes you just can't have it all. So now getting into more of the materials and the support, these kind of stay on brand with what a lot of Adidas shoes have been rolling out. And what I'm talking about is just using recycled content in their models. So the on this own the game 2.0 model, 20% of the pieces used to make up the upper were made with a minimum of 50% recycled content. Now, I don't know what that like actual number is that's in here, but it's helping the planet. So we like that. But I mean, honestly, the materials on this shoe, they have like, they're a little bit of a different setup, I guess is what I would say. They're going to have this dual material mesh on the upper, which means you're just going to have two different materials going on. But the majority of this shoe is going to be, you know, that mesh feel and it makes the shoe super breathable and light. And they're definitely light with a size 10 and a half, only weighing 376 grams. Now that kind of lets you know that maybe they didn't put a lot of stuff into the shoe. And that's not always true though, whenever a shoe's light. It's just kind of true on these. But of course, I mean, a model this light, you do want to take a little bit of a harder look at the support. And that's another spot where these just aren't really anything to write home about, which is too bad because it does feel like Adidas tried. The laces have these little mold, uh, like little midfoot strap. And you also have a molded TPU lockdown like in the heel. And the heel slip is just fine. I didn't, you know, struggle with that at all. But the upper is a little bit thin. On some of those step backs and just harder cuts, you can feel a little bit of give. And I feel like you just come out from underneath the footbed just a little bit. So, I mean, I personally like Shoes that you know play super light and this just feel easy to move around in sometimes they just make it a little bit too light so wrapping it up with the traction and taking a look at the pattern first these have what adidas calls an adi wear outsole which is just an extremely durable non-marking rubber that's actually used primarily in tennis shoes for like uh, and other like high abrasion applications and honestly i was kind of thinking this earlier whenever i was like in the appearance section i just didn't want to spend too much time on it but 
this almost looks like a tennis shoe. Like not like a shoe shoe, but like a shoe that you play tennis in. But I was just talking about that from like the appearance though. This is like specifically catered, like talking about the traction and the grooves on this model are like crazy thick. Probably like the deepest grooves that I've seen or played in for a basketball shoe, maybe even by far. And you know, honestly, we saved the best part of this, you know, performance part, performance aspect of the shoe for last because the traction is pretty solid like which is saying something for adidas this that's a category i like tend not to like for most of the models on average but doing our squeak test you can hear these making some noise i mean i can't go all in on the traction though there's still some minor slipping they aren't terrible for collecting dust from what i felt so far though so i mean you at least had that and they're going to be more than durable enough for an outdoor cord for the use for that that's more so gonna come down to like how your foot responds like comfort wise for the cushioning outside. But finishing off with the sizing, I went true to size and these are gonna run a little bit on the bigger side. The width is honestly perfect, but the length, I mean, you have just over a thumbs width left over. So I mean, keep that in mind. If you like more of a snug feel to play in, I'd probably test out going a half size down. But overall, the Adidas owned the game 2.0. I mean, there are some, there are some places this model could improve, let's be honest, but then we'd maybe be talking about a hundred to $150 plus shoe and not a 65, $70 shoe. So should you buy this model? They honestly play, play pretty good whenever you consider the price. Nice traction, you know, pretty light shoe. Just make sure you consider the price. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. Feel free to throw us a follow or a sub if you like this video. And if you're interested in buying these shoes and you want to support our channel, just click the link here on screen or we have links down below or in our bio. So feel free to check that out. But until next review, I'm Nathan from Shoewear. Peace.